Mm-hmm. Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the click, especially you, Ryan. Oh my god, Ryan, you look amazing today with those dashing blue eyes, Ryan. Do you want me to slowly massage your sweet bald head and whisper sweet nothings into your ear, Ryan? Oh my god, you want to come over to my place, Ryan, and play doctor, or should I say, play nurses? Oh yes, indeed. And, and everyone else, of course, <coughs> welcome to today's video. I do hope you have an amazing day, because that stops now we're going to get r slash aged like milk who doesn't love to have a reserve full of milk in their basement you know like wine but milk because it's a collector's item enjoy <laughs> oh let's gobble down that sweet milk together prices first place five hundred dollars second place two hundred and fifty dollars third place a hundred and fifty dollars fourth place a hundred dollars fifth to eighth place eh, 25 bitcoins <laughs> Whatever, it's, you know, like, it's just, ah, just tossing a little something. Ha, ah, equivalent to like a little coupon at your local bowling alley or something. There you go, Timmy, whatever. Farm sanctuary, turkeys are bright, social animals who enjoy being pets. Just ask Demi Lovato. Oh my God, look how cute they are together. Demi Lovato, self-made cam, I'm thankful to you all. Except the turkey, take that bird. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Poor Borb. By 2005 or so, it will become clear that the internet's impact on the economy has been no greater than the fax machines. Nobel Prize winning economist, 1998. <laughs> yeah, predictions are hard. <laughs> and now we have jobs like this, when we just sit online and read memes. Oh, yes. Well, Bitcoin has stabilized at almost exactly $14 per coin. I am tired of waiting for a jump, so I'm taking the loss and getting my cash back. Mm, yes, indeed. I see so many of these posts online where people regret not holding on to Bitcoins, but in reality, I mean, it's always so easy to be wise in hindsight. I mean, it goes for anything, like out of the thousands and thousands and thousands of things you could have invested in. Of course, it's easy to look back and say, oh, why didn't I invest in that thing? But completely forgetting that the other billion things that didn't do well or completely flopped, you didn't invest in either, probably, hopefully. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. It's easy to, easy to be 2020 hindsight, so to say. I just had a crazy thought. What if things actually start getting better in 2020? How can a tweet age this freaking badly in less than 48 hours? God damn it! <laughs> Isn't this just life in general? Today's gonna be a good day. Oh, nice. Well, it's only uphill from here. Jokes on you, rock bottom, is for amateurs. Texas confession. I have never seen snow IRL. I posted this and it snowed like two inches a week later for the first time in like 35 years. What the frick? Uh, <laughs> Texas confession. I've never had a million dollars. Be kind to one another, Ellen DeGeneres. Oh dear, that that really aged like like fi fine old lumpy milk. Oh dear. Ah, burn old flashlight batteries in the fireplace now and then. The burning sink may help prevent sooth formation, and the metals and chemicals make colorful flames. Mm, yes, the last thing you see will at least be beautiful. What is this? This is so wild. Man, recycling in the olden days really hit different, didn't it? Guess who's going to find a GF this 2019? This is so old, what? <laughs> oh god, it's not 2019 anymore. Does anyone else have the issue when you write, for example, dates on packages when a ship or something? You still instinctively write like 2020. I do that. It's hard, man. Reddit.com. My gift to Reddit. I created an image hosting service that doesn't suck. What do you think? Imager. Anyone can make an image hosting service that doesn't suck. <laughs> but tell me in a year or two if you're still around and not sucking, then I'll consider it. 11 years ago and they deleted their account. <laughs> oh my god, please. <laughs> I love bad predictions, it's so funny. Not that I could do it better, but it's like, it's so funny to look at it in hindsight. Just let that be a lesson for everyone. Never make predictions about anything, because <laughs> it's so, the future is uncertain. One of my favorite, like, predictions in the world is when you look at movies and stuff and sci-fi from, like, the 80s, when it's like, it's the year 2019. We have flying invisible cars and laser pistol and robot humans. And we're sitting here and be like, yeah, well, we have TikTok. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Where's my laser car? Women against pornography. This feminist anti pain organization from the 1970s was called Women Against Pain or WAP. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 
Are you serious? It would be so funny if the new, the new music video was actually a reference to this. I don't think it goes that deep, but oh my god, that would be so funny. Robin Hood, one of our strongest beliefs, everyone should be able to participate in the stock market. It shouldn't matter if you have a hundred dollars or a hundred thousand dollars. Mm-hmm, yes, and that aged really well. <laughs> wow, this fine wine has really weird white lumps in it, I wonder why. Oh, it was milk! I probably failed as a girlfriend, failed as a daughter, I failed as a friend, but I will never fail as a mother! This person was charged Friday night with two counts of first-degree murder in 2003, the deaths of her newborn twin sons, whose bodies have been dumped in the trash been in Sydney Township, police said. Wow, that went really. How? This is pretty. This is a pretty far leap from like being on the line of like. I think I'm a decent parent to like. Oh my freaking god! What? Internet may be just a passing fad as millions give up on it. The internet may only be a passing fad for many users, according to the report. Researchers found that millions were turning back to the World Wide Web, frustrated by its limitations and unwilling to pay high access charges. And here I am today, 2022, and my job is literally reading memes. Thank you, internet. Final exam. If you fail, you'll just die. Columbine High. Oh dear God, that aged so poorly. It's not even like the the focal point of the cover. It's just oh no, it just kind of snuck in there. That's so bad. This is like when I was rewatching Archer a couple years ago. It says, "Oh, our agent agency ISIS." That hit differently. <laughs> Some things just don't age well. It's like they, they can be completely innocent when they were made. And it's like, oh, oh, yeah, this is a completely different reference now. Oh, dear. New White House press secretary makes wow to never lie. New White House press secretary make false claims in first briefing. That was two hours in between them. I don't even know the context who this was, but I don't think it matters. It, it's like <laughs> literally just like here is politics in a nutshell. That could be a nice channel. Instead of like Kotzkesakt in a nutshell, it's just like politics in a nutshell and it's just <laughs> stuff like this. <laughs> New York Times, December 8, 1903. Man won't fly for a million years. To build a flying machine would require the combined and continuous effort of mathematicians and mechanics for one million to ten million years. <laughs> right, brothers? Nine days later? And we took that personally. How can you... <laughs> okay, it's one thing that an 80s movie predicts flying cars in 2020 falsely, you know? That's one thing. But, like, we can't make aircraft in a bajillion years. There are birds, for God's sake. It can't be that hard. I say that as we don't have flying cars. I just realized that was an ironic argument. But but you get what my point, right? Please. <laughs> I don't know what the point was, but this was silly. <laughs> don't mind me. Economic. I fear no man, but this thing. You slash N word count bot. It scares me. I am pure. You slash N word count bot. Thank you for the request, comrade. I have looked through you slash urban banks posting history and found 1,367 N words, of which five were hard art. How could you. Is this a. This must be a troll, right? You can't be so confident about being pure and it's like this far over the line. My god. Oh, dear. Stephanie Germanmana, you will never be famous. Close group, 12 members. Lady Gaga had a hater group <laughs> and they closed it. Oh my god, this is 12 members. Wow, you were really going places, weren't you? From Anonymous. This was considered comically obese in 1990. 260 pounds. That's not even that much. Dear god, times do change, don't, don't they? That's, that's tragic. There is this semi-joke in Sweden. Um, well, it's not really a joke, really. It's more like a com comedic ob observation, I suppose. Whenever we have a friend or colleague or something that goes to stay in the US for, you know, studies or work or something, when they come home to Sweden, all like the yogurts and stuff tastes sour. Because in the US, everything has so much more sugar in it. Um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, so, I don't know, the, the market is a little bit rigged, it feels like. Man, it's hard to stay in shape when everything has that much sugar in it. Y'all, I swear, Santa's in my house because there's hella noise downstairs. Help yourself to the fridge and pick up a sandwich, boo. Hashtag Merry Christmas. Y'all, my house was robbed. What did you think was good? What did you... <laughs> Are you high? <laughs> Oh, there is noise downstairs. Sounded like the front door was bashed in. Oh, must be Santa Claus. You're an adult. <laughs> what? Savage lit. How to gain one million views in just three days on YouTube. Very secret tips. Seven views two years ago. 
Man, this is doing numbers, my god. I've always had that little rule of thumb when it comes to life in general and like weird unsolicited tips. If there is a tip that claims to be so magical, like, you know, oh, become a millionaire overnight or get a million views on YouTube magic. If the person giving the tip doesn't have that themselves, it's probably not true because otherwise they would just use it. Like general advice and stuff is fine. And there are plenty of like advice videos on YouTube, like how to make your videos look professional, audio engineering. Uh, Ludwig, for example, made a great video about like tips, how, can how you can make a trending YouTube channel. Um, but it's usually not this like, I get a million views overnight, a little savage. It's, it's, that's silly. TV Guide, absolutely no one is having more fun at the Oscars red carpet than at Will Smith. Oh damn, that, that like aged poorly in 45 minutes. <laughs> oh God. Hey, um, remember last summer when we found the mummy in the back sarcophagus that was never supposed to be open and Egypt's director of antiques was like, well, <laughs> we opened it and the world hasn't fallen into darkness yet. Anyway, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, this must have been like, I don't know, they probably opened this in December 2019 or something. Yay. Kevin, my prediction for the year 2020 is that everyone will live peacefully and they will cure every disease there is. F frick you, Kevin! Oh, you wishful thinking! God! You will never regret going to the gym. At Pure Gym, I am locked in one of your gyms, wrong all available numbers to be connected to voicemail, and the manager said he's going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of hate this meme, but it's too perfect. Vox. Gig workers win in California is a victory for workers everywhere. Vox media to cut hundreds of freelancer job ahead of changes in California gig economy laws. Oh, that, 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 yeah, that was good. Yes. An old memory of mine. Don't ask me for any future advice. 11 years ago. Why does Steve Jobs think that FaceTime video calling will be great? <laughs> Nobody video calls iPhone for fail. Yeah. Swastika Laundry, founded in 1912. Swastika Laundry. That didn't do too well. Was it inspired by like, you know, it was it was trying to be the peace symbol from, from other parts in the world <laughs> and then it just didn't go so well in Europe and... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that branding uh, d d didn't age well, did it? James Cameron's Avatar 2 and 3 hit screens in December 2014 and 2015. It's been seven years. The frick? r slash instant karma posted by you slash deleted pos assaulted two to three innocent and was put down and is now using his dad money to actively remove this video from the internet don't let it die removed by reddit in response to a copyright notice i don't i don't think it went so well did it oh god you aren't always gonna have a calculator in your pocket lying ass 90s teachers oh oh my one true nemesis. I always found that such a silly thing to say in the first place. It's just good to understand math because it's logic and it's good for your brainicles, but... <laughs> <laughs> what if I sold all my stuff and traveled across Europe in 2020? <laughs> what a freaking idiot! <laughs> That's me! Bachelor of the Month, Financial State, just Jeffrey Epstein. Oh dear. Uh, talks only to people who make over a million a year. If you're a cute Texas girl, write this New York dynamo. Uh, oh dear God, why? <laughs> this is... This is so weird. Microsoft once held a funeral to mark the death of the iPhone when it launches its own line of phones. It's a super funny, like, stage and a really good burn against a competitor. This seems like, you know, sassy brand Twitter, where it's just like Wendy's being like, I fricked your mom! But it also, your product has to actually do well for it to be savage. Now it just looks really weird. Four years ago, the Nintendo Switch will be another failure by Nintendo. Yes, indeed. Well, they really switched that around, didn't they? <laughs> July, August 1962. Can tiny Walmart survive against the big guys? We will never know for sure. <laughs> oh no. And now it's, it's so funny because how the turntables and how it's all poo. 2007. Oh my god. God, apparently none of you guys realize how bad of an idea it is to have a touchscreen on a phone. I foresee some pretty obvious and pretty major problems here. Low ranked. <laughs> Imagine having your forum trustability scar just shot through the floor because you made a bad prediction about touchscreens in 2007. <laughs> Me at my GF when she does literally anything. You underestimate my absolute love for you. She she cheated on me, Lamau. Oh, that aged well. Yeah, that did, that did, no, that that's not nice. Would you rather be marked with a tracking device so the government always knows where you are, or with a microphone so it always knows what you're saying? <laughs> How about both? Ha. <sighs> 
I just solely rely on the fact that anything I say or post is too uninteresting for anyone to care about. And that's like my way of reducing paranoia about our world where everything is being tracked and saved. It's like, oh yeah, I don't think I, I'm really dull. Nobody would spy on me. It's fine. <laughs> YouTube. In 2018, we made something you didn't like, so in 2019, hashtag YouTube Rewind. Is that... is that Suzy Lou? Anyone else wish there was a dislike button on Twitter? We have one on YouTube! <sighs> Those were the days. There is a Google Chrome extension, though, you can install to get it back. I have it. It's really nice. I can see dislikes on videos. And I can see it as a creator as well. Like, we can still see it in our in our video feeds. It's like, this is for creators' uh, mental health. You still show it to us. What are you talking about? The, the worst excuse ever? Basics. Is adult-oriented content allowed on Tumblr? Sure. We have no problem with that kind of stuff. Go nuts, show nuts. Whatever. <laughs> That's all. Oh. Does anybody remember this Go Nuts, Show Nuts, whatever gem? Oh, how the mighty have fallen. It reminds me of that, that parody clip. What percentage of a platform is adult naughties? Nine. Nine percent? Ninety. Ninety-eight. Man, that was a good choice, wasn't it? Business decisions. Blockbuster. Tweet while you're leaving Netflix. The top three most creative tweets using hashtag goodbye Netflix will win a one-year subscription on Blockbusters. Posted 2011. Woo! Portrait of the stars. What they may look like in the year 2000. Michael Jackson. I'm pretty sure Michael Jackson did not look like that in 2000. When was this posted? At 40. 1985. Okay, so this was like a 15-year prediction. Intriguing. This is basically the Instagram age filter spot, you know, in the 80s. <laughs> Just weird gossip newspapers. Police should shoot shoplifters on sight. I shoplifted a couple of times, not proud of it. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> 3D printing just leveled up big time, as in a 3D printed Lamborghini. You wouldn't download a car, but you would download- I would totally download a car if I could. What are you talking about? It's amazing. A victimless crime. A car just randomly appears. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Google! www.google.com is a pure search engine. No weather, no newsfeed, no links to sponsors, no ads, no distraction, no portal litter. Nothing but a fast loading site. Reward them with a visit. And nowadays when you search and like the top 10 results are just like ads for various computer viruses. <laughs> Woo! Ah, oh, the snow looks so real. Pure white asbestos snow. Oh dear God, asbestos cause cancer and is well known today, but here they are covered in it. They are seen playing in it and picking it up. It is said the whole movie used asbestos in many scenes. At the time, you could also buy it in stores for your fireproof decorating needs. It's crazy to think that will be used in our daily lives that will end up being cancer causing. Oh my God. <laughs> I suppose you don't have to worry about fire if you're heckin' dead. It's like that life hack thing where it's, you know, a scissor on, on like a cable or something. It says, how to cut your power bill. And it's like, oh, this will basically just kill a, kill a man. And it's, well, your power bill will probably be pretty low if you're dead. The Washington Post. Nobody has been killed by lightning in the United States this year. The first time the nation has made it this far into the year without a lightning death. Just a couple hours after posting this, the first person died by a lightning strike. You jinxed it! You totally dinks it. Okay, here's a good paper from Post um, back in 1967. Oh dear. Let's see what we have here. Ambassador Lodge reports were winning in Vietnam. The violent N word ghetto. When kids can't learn new ways to read, help the R word. How the mind works. You just squeezed everything <laughs> into one single front page. <laughs> how did how did this happen? The statistics for this to happen all at once is absolutely astounding. Oh my god. Shared a memory. Oh my sweet summer child. 11 years ago. Went to buy a new phone tonight and totally chickened out. Something deep down in the fiber of my being has a huge issue with spending three to four hundred dollars on a phone. It, it did not get better over time. 11 years ago, those were the golden times, baby. The Big Dogs, Shane Dawson and Onision. Oh dear, well, t 2011 YouTube really hit different, didn't it? I mean, that was such a wild era. It was basically the wild west of the internet. My god. It was like the mix of the wild west. You know, the wild west of the internet was like back in 2006, 2007, when it was like so freaking loose and nothing could be monetized or anything. 2011 was the time when people first started turning stuff like this into their job, 
but it was still so niche that it was just completely wild. It, it, it's not, it, not, not nutty time on the internet. Absolutely uh, rebunctious. How to build a company to last a hundred years. The next Steve Jobs, eight women who could own the future. I, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that I don't remember the exact dates, but I'm pretty sure that lasted less than a hundred years. Remember, turn your computer off before midnight on 1231.99. Remember Y2K? That was, that was intense. I thought everything was gonna explode because the computers couldn't handle, like, you know, the, the, the numbers shift, basically. There's even a Simpson episode about it, when they have, like, the New Year's drop and everything just goes to crap and there's, like, a cyborg, his face melts. It's wild. Get on your feet, party people! Everyone do this hot new dance! Slide to the left! Slide to the left! Now slide to the left! Then slide to the left! Please, please stop sliding us to the left! You'll crush us all! Slide to the left! Oh my god! It's a really funny comic, but oh dear. Trans Harry. Okay, rolling. We get it. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear God. Oh. Oh. Oh, I. Oh. Oh God. BMW. It's a peace sign, right? They mustn't marry. Hefty girls wanted for police force. Women with brain plus good physique are wanted. The pay and prospects are good, but they must never marry or their careers will end. Oh dear god. When was this posted? Do we see a date somewhere here? I can't see a date, but I'm assuming a long time ago. That style is like, I don't know, 1950s vibe. <laughs> They must be hefty. Good pay is being offered. 53's 3D a week with free quarters and special hotels. But a high standard of intelligence test and a physique is being demanded. Wait, they must be hefty enough to withstand rough and tumble. And they must be fairly good looking too. Okay, so you can never marry. You must be good looking but still hefty and have lots of brains. Job offers uh, really hit different back in the day, didn't they? Step two, be someone you want to be friends with. I like to think of this step as channeling your inner Ellen DeGeneres. After all, when was the last time you heard of anyone say they helped Ellen? Answer never. This say this is okay. Well, yay! Slow clap. Really, really slow. Clap. Jacksonville Jaguars not satisfied with one O. Nineteen straight losses since this tweet. Incredible. That's kind of impressive, but in the other way. It's almost as statistically unlikely. <laughs> PlayStation will be dead in two years. Wh what is this posted? 97. Where did you even post this in 97? All right. Um. <laughs> I feel so sorry for all you gay station owning losers. Nintendo 64 is here and is kicking every other console in the butt. And if you don't believe me, you're either an R word or an N word. The <laughs> PlayStation Nation is no more. Nintendo wins again. <laughs> oh dear God! Oh, 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 oh. I wonder if the person who wrote this is still alive. Like with with this, with this kind of time span, we're talking about it's like twenty five years. Oh my God! Even if this person was, you know, an edgy fifteen year old back when they posted this, they're like forty now. God damn! <laughs> LifeLock, my name is Todd Davis, and my social security number is this. I am Todd Davis, CEO of LifeLock. Yes, that really is my social security number. No, I am not being crazy. I'm just sure our system works, just like we have with mine. LifeLock will make your personal information useless to a criminal, and is guaranteed his identity was stolen 13 times. That went well. Over the course of just three months, my BF has written me four handwritten letters that are worded so insanely beautiful. It makes me wonder what I did right to deserve him. He cheated. Not to mention that in front of me has been ghosting me since. I feel like a crazy person trying to get any kind of explanation out of him. That that went downhill, man. Twitter relations are, are wild west. R slash teenagers. I finally made out with my boyfriend, y'all. Woo! It was incredible. 10 out of 10. Update, y'all. We broke up, lol. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's teenage relationships in a nutshell. Oh dear God! When I mean, you were like ten, I remember like we have a saying in Sweden that used to be maybe it's not even the same nowadays, but it was "hajachans per day," which basically means that I have a crush on you. Do you accept it? And and you would write little silly notes, and they would say like yes, but then you would be like heartbroken, and and you were broken up from your planned marriage by lunch break. It was wild, man. Oh, the wild times. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. The great thing is YouTube not hiding likes and dislikes. <laughs> Download the extension. Immortalize it, please. Skateboarding is a crime, not Olympic sport. 
It's also funny how someone could have such a strong opinion about something just... What? Why? <laughs> Why do you hate skating so much? West Virginia state rep fallen ill due to drinking unpasteurized milk after helping pass a law that legalized raw milk. That went really well. It literally aged like milk. Forbes to the horror of global warming alarmists. Global cooling is here. This article is more than eight years old. 2013. That aged really poorly. <laughs> oh, I felt the relevance of this article really cooled off. That was funny. Work and careers. The mystery of billionaires' long marriages. It is remarkable how many of the super successful have stuck with their first spouse. Whoops. Hitler's press secretary didn't approve of his mustache. Stop worrying about it, said the Fuhrer. If it's not in fashion now, it will be soon because I am wearing one. I think... <laughs> I mean, I suppose that was the purpose. But it was already a trend before he started using it. You will see it in old movies, for example, or with Chaplin. But you kind of ruined it for everything, including the names. Like, <laughs> god damn. It is like the anti-trend, making sure no one else will ever use it. Enjoy an ice cream cone shortly before lunch. Sugar can be the willpower you need to under-eat. When you're hungry, it usually means your energy is low. By eating something with sugar on it, you can get your energy up fast. Sugar is the fastest energy around. There's a good chance you'll have the willpower to under-eat the meal time. How's that for a sweet idea? Sugar, only 18 calories per teaspoon, and it's all energy. It's not like sugar is the leading cause for, you know, overweight issues pretty much everywhere in the world, but this did not age well. When was this posted? I don't know. Long time ago, hopefully. The world. Titanic sinking. No lives lost. Okay. I will respond to your questions a year from now. Ask me anything. Ah, no, you won't, because this thread will be archived. Lol, OP didn't think this through. He should have said, ah, one day before this is six months. A year sounded better two hours ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that actually went pretty well. Nice. If a woman needs it, should she be spanked? I suppose that depends on the context entirely, but let's read what these men from almost 100 years ago have to say. Miguel, Brooklyn counterman. Why not? If they don't know how to behave by the time they're adults, they should be treated like children and spanked. That ought to make them grow up in a hurry. If that doesn't at first, we'll soon get the idea. Al, daddy, I've been a naughty, childish girl. Oh my, okay, let's read the rest. This is probably good. Frank, yes, when they deserve it. As a barber, I have a lot of good faith in the hairbrush. I think there are certain cases where it's advisable. When it is, there's no reason why you shouldn't go right ahead and do it. I can't knock the idea. In my business, a man sets a lot of the store by results he can't get with a hairbrush properly applied. When the only thing you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail, right? A teddy, parking lot attendant. You bet. He teaches them who's boss. A lot of women tend to forget this is a man's world. And a lot of men who step down as boss, a family wish to hand... Spanking my help get back some of the respect they lost. Wait, so you're telling me a man took a hit to his career by making a family choice, which is, is his choice to make, and then you're justifying domestic abuse because he's frustrated he can't make it further in his career. Wow. <laughs> this is... <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Oh. A deer, for some reason. The decline of the vaxxers will be substantially noticeable in mid-September. I am talking cars parked sideways in the middle of the street with the driver looking at the sky, lost and confused. I'm talking people in grocery stores screaming because they don't know where they are or what they are doing. I'm talking about a real freaking zombie apocalypse. Get ready because it's going to get real fricked up shite. You won't be able to comprehend. Family members shooting each other because they didn't know who they were or what they were doing in their house. Your own mother won't even recognize you. We have about Three or four months left on hell on earth. Good luck, you all. Uh, when was this posted? Like, summer uh, 21? Okay, well, yeah, that aged well. <laughs> <laughs> a battleship. Fun for the whole family. Look at this. You can play with your son and your wife and daughter. I'm doing dishes right there. That's that's their equivalent of, of battleships. <laughs> r slash unpopular opinion. Drinking a gallon of milk under an hour is a freaking rookie challenge. Today I fricked up by drinking a gallon of milk in one hour to shove it in Reddit's face. <laughs> it's not even for like seven hours. So I'm guessing that's the time it took for you to, I don't know, recover. Have you been a good boy today? Sure, I just killed three Indians. What? Wait, what? What? 
The frick? According to repeated nationwide service, more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Mmm, the cigarette that is good for your health. Doctors in every branch of medicine were asked, what cigarette do you smoke? The brand name most was camel. The doctor's choice is America's choice. Camel. Hmm. Explode your lungs today like a true doctor would. Best advice for women in business. Get your up and work. Uh -huh. it seems like I've seen this one. It's, it's really beautiful. Days. Very inspirational. You have to surround I think it's like everyone understanding that we all have different priorities and like working is just, it's not my top priority. It's, it's never going to be. You were leaving. They just need to get up their butt and work. Yeah, totally agree. But also, I don't like work. <laughs> Do as I preach and not as I do. Well, ladies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you age like fine wine watching this video and have an amazing rest of your day because you deserve it. And I will see you in the very near future. Take care, you beautiful bean. Mwah.